Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A team of engineers and neuroscientists from Cornell University and Harvard Medical School are developing a new brain-machine interface that could someday allow paralyzed people to regain their ability to move. In a paper published in the journal Nature Communications, the team describes a device, a cortical spinal prosthesis, that would detect brain activity associated with movement and send electrical signals to the appropriate limb, enabling a paralyzed patient to move his or her own limbs just as a non-paralyzed person would. The research team has already designed and tested a device that enabled one animal to control the limbs of a second sedated animal using only brain activity. The work continues to develop more sophisticated interfaces allowing more complex movements with the ultimate goal of applying this remarkable technology to human subjects. Next up, an international team led by geologists at the University of Tasmania may have found the answer to why life evolved so slowly prior to the Cambrian explosion. Though we have evidence establishing that life appeared on Earth as early as 3.8 billion years ago, it seems that until around 550 million years ago, most life existed in the form of simple unicellular organisms. Then, suddenly, and by suddenly I mean over the course of about 80 million years, the rate of evolution rapidly accelerated and life on Earth grew much more complex and diverse than it had ever been before. The fact that the Cambrian explosion occurred is well established by the fossil record and has been widely accepted for some time, but the reason for it and for the relative evolutionary stagnation that preceded it has been a subject for debate. A study to be published next month in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters aims to settle that debate. Researchers from the University of Tasmania, along with colleagues from Russia, Canada, and the U.S., analyzed thousands of samples of ancient pyrite and found that in the billion years prior to the Cambrian explosion, levels of oxygen and nutrients vital to life dropped significantly. The researchers reckon the recovery of these levels between 750 and 550 million years ago is what triggered the 80 million year evolutionary bonanza we call the Cambrian Explosion. Finally, NASA's New Star Orbital X-ray Telescope has provided us with our first glimpse of the inside of a supernova. The supernova is Cassiopeia A, one of the most thoroughly studied objects in the sky. It's approximately 11,000 light years away and was first discovered as a radio source in 1947. This is a Hubble image of Cass A taken in 2006. And this is Cass A as seen by the Chandra and New Star telescopes. The red and green areas indicate iron and silicon and magnesium detected by Chandra. The blue areas indicate titanium detected by New Star. The blue you see in this photograph represents the first image ever produced of an X-ray emission from the core of an exploding star. Researchers develop a device that could someday allow paralyzed people to move again. Geologists may have uncovered the cause of the Cambrian explosion, and NASA's New Star Space Telescope captures the first image ever of the inside of a supernova. That's the good news. Yes, it is. What do you think? You want to do about three more takes? <laughs>